Well, that's some lovely music. Hello, and welcome to Kenai Gaming. I am going to play the first episode of Life is Strange. Uh, just because. It was, well, at this point, it was a while ago that it was free. So the first episode's free, and I figured I'd try it out. I mean, it looked like an interesting game, and everybody loves these episodic things anymore. So I figured I'd give it a go. Screen size, that looks fine to me. All right, save game one, let's go. Hey, how do you... Yeah, I guess I'll just, uh, new game. Let's just get going. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. That sounds interesting. Those are good questions. Where am I and where is this? Or how did I get here and where is here? That's the question. Those were the questions. I'm sorry. Okay, I like the little wind wispy things. It kind of reminds me of Wind Waker. Okay, so. Oh. That's, uh, that's nice. It looks like it's collapsing this whole cliff here. All right, so did I take the wrong turn? Um, or do I have to go up this way? Holy shit. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm These in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. <laughs> Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> Bueller. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Okay, um... Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those She looks like a bitch. I don't want to listen. Okay, Look at um, this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Uh... Okay. Humanity is tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Pencil case. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. What if Arvis I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Yeah, kind of like this, uh... Approach. Like this I love camera. my analog camera. I'm not a big fan of I should take a quick picture now. That's a good idea. Do that in the middle of class. Me too, Victoria. I haven't kept up. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Wait, what? Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Wait, so I can't... 
which Camera. explains why Frank was Kerouac's photo. Can I look at this leaders. first? And both were the great chroniclers. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. We've all oh, I guess I already looked at that. Okay, read the journal. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Uh, I don't know. October 1st. Okay, so it looks like... Yeah, page one of eight. Okay. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited, since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw a text from Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought it was going to say, Sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird. But they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy! So, this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too, it's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest, back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking, with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Au contraire, now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson? Sigh. Insert hearts and flowers. Plus there will be cool diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates. Or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited on clearing out my room. Though I caught Mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes, then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even had an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arm, sensing the universe is opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. My first entry for my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Whew! I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate Brooke Taylor Allison. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes. As if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun, along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the ambulance. I don't want this day to end all woe is max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Sigh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But, to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek, plus he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner, or a good friend. 
I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 men, I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, he just says what he thinks and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests at Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone, with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns this school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended. But him and Victoria are part of this little elite vortex club that puts on popular parties so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here like Victoria who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See? I'm already playing their drama games. No more! Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October. So I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Sigh. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things. Like I gave a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class. But I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now how much homework are you avoiding? October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot, thanks global warming. I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate let me borrow The October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much of him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Fortex Club Stroke Fest swimming party. Or is that Backstroke Fest? You so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. Okay, so that is her little journal. And uh, what else is here? So there's Max. Uh, maybe I'll... Read this later. I don't want to waste too much time on this stuff. Apparently she has the phone just kind of stuck in here. I'll deal with that later too. Okay, um... Prologue. Oh, okay. So it's broken up into prologue, whatever, and then that goes into... Let's get back to class. Shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century pro... Uh, yeah, whatever. You dig? You dig? Now... Contrast so, supposedly Americana I'm supposed to take a camera, Dali, take so a selfie progress. with my camera. Like Cocteau, he was a true... Cocteau! And his famous self shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh, do you know? Do you know? How about that? X, you're asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? 
Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s oh, So on. now what? The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. Sorry, Max. No more you selfies right now. About him. In your textbook. Or even online. Oh, there we go. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Okay, now that uh, class is over, what is that? Notebook? Tablet. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. All bending over and stuff. To... Oh, so this is Kate, as we saw in our journal. Um, Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Well, let's speak with Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. I've been... Okay. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Okay, so this game doesn't look too bad, but uh, the lip syncing and stuff just is terrible. It's... What is this about? Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Yeah, I don't really care about that stuff. Uh, let's just go. Eh. What? Huh. This might make a cool shot. Sure, why not? Okay, um... What is it? Look. Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Of course, why not? Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Okay, so I just got an achievement called Macro Eyes. That's interesting. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Yes, but you don't know your photographers very well, do you? What is this? I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. I don't care. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. Actually, when I don't suck. Kind of looks like one I've used before. How about I talk to him? This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Well, too bad you're speaking with him. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. To frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. That's, uh... It's actually good. That's a good thing. Look at her Every time ass. I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. That's when you smack her back. Nah. What am I looking at? You can at? never escape the lighthouse here. 
Well, you, you apparently can if you <clears throat> if it's falling on you. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Okay. Whoa. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. What year is it? Wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. What is it like? Early two thousands? Who who has a plasma? Or wait, when the heck did LCDs really become a thing? Maybe I'm thinking way too far back. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Because you have a gift, and you need to share that gift. You Sorry if... No, let's... I was about to. I'm not paying a hundred dollars. Welcome to the real world. Then I might send you a phone oh, friends that I told me that we're getting They're just getting you ready for the real world. And it's really sick with my shoes and I have to stick when you play it so shy. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. Why don't you just deposit the six? She's so fucking shy. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> okay, well, uh, hope it didn't bother anyone that I just kind of walked past pretty much everything that was happening out in the halls, but it just seemed like she was trying to ignore everything, so I just set a easy pace and just walked to where I was going. Now, who would bother to write that crap? I don't know. Some bitch calling someone a bitch? What is this? Oh, A. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? No. Oh, well, okay. the last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> last time I got a flu shot, I got a uh, hives. That was fun. Probably think that was the only flu shot I got. I just got some kind of reminder about getting a flu shot. I'm like, nah, fuck it. Good to flow. Thanks. Yeah, well. I guess, uh. We just pick a mirror and, uh, use it? Or what? what's going on here? So confused. The sheet. Nah. Not a mirror. I mean, a sink. That's what I meant. This poster must drive people to have sex. <laughs> Okay, what is... No, let's not... Well, what does it say? It just says, look. Okay. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. So what am I doing here besides... Is that it? I'm just... Just in here. Oh, sink. Use. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Okay. 
When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Slow and easy. What the hell is this about? It's cool, Nate. Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us in I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because... I did now. it. Can you give me I an example of a photographer who perfectly I'm captured the human condition machine. in black and white? Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't yeah. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Okay, it's so she together, discovered her powers. Totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Browser, my old broken she camera is new again. Tortured, right? And so I maybe if we take a selfie and answer that question, she'll have... Seriously, though. Maybe I she'll have the answer. Of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And anyone shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's photo real. portrait has been popular since tell. the early 1800s. Your generation so was I can not the go first back in time for selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can remains that her? the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Once class. And I need time to save that girl. Lives. A process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very, very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again the process, and give him the right answer? Find detail in people's faces. Yes, yeah, so let's do that.
Whoa. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly wanted that to have a conversation, interesting. can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everybody. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Okay, well, that's all the time I have today, so I hope you enjoyed this. This is a really interesting game, and I have never actually played one of these episodic, whatever, you know, any type of games like this. I know it's not exactly the same as, uh, like, The Walking Dead or anything, where you have to pick your actions as stuff is happening, but it's really something. Let's talk to Kate again. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um... Uh... Did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. Uh... Oh, totally. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. Okay, well, uh... Yeah, I really have to end this episode right now, because I have to go pick up my boy. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, hit that thumbs up, give it a like. Uh, uh, please watch my other videos if you did like this. Maybe you'll like something else, maybe give those a like and all that. And if you do like a few videos, then please subscribe to the channel to see future episodes of, you know, whatever, whatnot. I currently have Shadow of Mordor going on, and I've got uh, Super Mario World on Wednesday, and Friday is kind of up in the air. So, with all that said, I'll be seeing you. Don't even think about leaving me until we talk about this.